Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the page, y'all. Thank you for coming back to the page. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And I'll let you know when I drop another video. Today, I'm actually going to just go over a couple of audio features, I could say, that uh, Cakewalk actually has that allows you to actually do some warping, kind of like you can do in Ableton. So I'm just going to kind of go through it. It's actually called like Audio Snap. You can kind of move things around for your WAV files. I'm actually going to use BandLab samples. So let's, let's go and see what this is all about. All right, let's go. All right, today we are in BandLab. I'm on my dark theme and I have the BandLab Assistant open. Uh, if you have Cakewalk, you should know what this is. Um, what I didn't know is that you actually have actual sounds in here. I've never actually really clicked this tab. I've always gone to, just to the apps and you know updated my Cakewalk if needed to. Um, I've been to the BandLab page, but I've, I didn't realize that you actually had sound packs right here. Uh, so where you can actually do different things. So as you see, they have quite a few different ones on here. So definitely go crazy, man. Everybody's talking about they don't have like uh, samples and stuff like that. They're giving you a whole bunch of samples right here. So I'm gonna click on this loop pack right here, this uh, lo-fi one. I found a couple of them earlier that were pretty good. It, as you see, it gives you an option to download if you just click it, it'll play it, but you can actually download it uh, straight to your computer, or you can just drag and drop it straight into Cakewalk. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Um, let's see what they got. Yeah, let's mess with this one. All right, so I'm gonna move the band lab assistant over to my other screen and just drag and drop the sample. And boom, samples in here. Basically just clicked on the band lab one to stop it from playing. But now it is actually in my cakewalk. The tempo for that one is 85 and it is a C minor chord. And that gives you all that inside of BandLab. Um, bring it back over so you can see. All right, so in here in BandLab, it'll tell you, I took the keys, lo-fi keys one, which is 85 beats per minute, I'm doing 90. And um, it tells you it's two bars and it's in the key of C minor. So it gives you most of the information that you'll need to kind of make whatever beats you actually want to make. I'm gonna pull this over to the other screen just so it's not in the way. All right, so um, so here's the sample itself, and I'm actually going to shrink it so that it'll actually be the two bars that it says that it should be, and I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna hold down my Control and B, which is my uh, bounce the clip, or you could have just did a right click and bounce the clips here. All right, so. Um, let's kind of move stuff around so you can kind of see what I was talking about. So let's go over here to the left, the show high clip properties. And once you click on that, it's going to tell you what the name of the clip is. And um, you know, have an option for a groove clip, but we're going to go to this one that says audio snap. So you're going to click on that and we're going to enable it. And now as you see, 
it gives you some transients. Any, any transient that it actually is finding is going to give a mark for it. So let's actually stretch this out. I'm going to hold down my Alt and scroll up. Kind of stretch it out some. All right. So let's see how this sounds. All right. So I think I'm going to stretch this back. I think I want it further. Yeah, see. All right. So let's do that. Let's move this. All right. So these little circles here, uh, the transient marker, if you're in the middle of it, where it has uh, the arrows to move, you can actually move this transient marker around. So I can move this to wherever I want to move it. And it's not going to affect the, the actual sample. So now if I actually do this, where you have the arrows with the line in it, it'll actually move the sample back or forward or whichever way you want to have it. All right, so let's move this one. Let's go. Let's put a loop on here. So I'm gonna hit on this and let's loop that region. And I'm gonna pull this beginning back so that it kind of starts earlier. And this is probably too long. I think I like that. So basically it gives me an option to kind of move anything around in here that I kind of want to. And I'm just gonna do a uh, control and B and bounce it to clip so that it will keep what I did. And now. And that is the power of the audio snap. Um, some people use it different ways. I like to use it to do the warping so I can kind of get the sounds to sound the way I want it to. And then you can just kind of go from there and just, you know, just go crazy. You add on, uh, I'm gonna do my Satillo, just some drums. And then you can just, you know, just pretty much go crazy, man. Just, you know. Do what you need to do.
bit of color on there onto the, the keys itself. So that way you can actually um, get a nicer, warmer uh, sound out of those uh, piano keys that's being played. Ladies and gents, nothing spectacular here. Just uh, kind of showing you that like, you can actually manipulate the actual audio once you actually bring it in here. If you feel like something is off, you can go into your audio snap and actually adjust what you need to adjust in order for it to actually work out the way you want it to work out. And uh, if you have like any questions, comments, concerns, definitely leave them below in the comment section. Y'all know I'll get back to you on those. And once again, it's your boy x.e.l.o. Peace.